Unless that was that what that noise was? What would that be what that noise no, was? No, it kind of uh I didn't I looked for it but I didn't Oh I okay. do have it. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Want me to shut it off? Is if that you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. Just for now. He changed the ringer yesterday, so I didn't even recognize that one. So. Okay. date is the 30th of March 2009. My name is Allison Rains and I'm with the Sault Ste. Marie Police Service and my partner's name is Kevin Dukes of the Sault Ste. Marie Police Service. He's next door. Mm -hmm. I would ask um, you to acknowledge that you understand that this statement is being video and audio taped and that you consent to such a tape being made. Is that all right? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Christina, as you're aware, we are investigating an allegation of assault and sexual assault. As part of our investigation into that offense, we would like to interview you. Your statement is an important part of our investigation. We would like to speak to you about this offense on video and under oath, and that is why we've asked you to come here today. Now, this is uh, our Commissioner of Oath, and she's just going to read a few things. Oh, okay. okay. Hi. My name is Mayla. <laughs> As the police have explained, your statement to them is an important part of your investigation. You should understand that this is a serious criminal offense to make a false statement to the police, to wrongly accuse someone of a crime, or to cause the police to enter into an investigation of another person. You should also understand that it is a serious offense to make an affidavit that is false. If you later give sworn evidence that is different from what you swear to today, that could be another offense. Your statement today might be used against you if you are ever charged with one of these offenses. Do you understand yes. this caution? Yes. Okay, Christina, you're reading on? Just that you swear to this, okay? okay? Do you, Christina, oath you swear that the evidence that you shall give on this investigation shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God? I do. left a little bit of a sweaty palm. <laughs> <laughs> it gets warm in here too, yeah. so. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, Mela. You're welcome. Okay. So, so you understand what this is all about then? Mm -hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, I've been through this before. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, like I explained um, earlier, um, my partner Kevin and I, um, we've been assigned to follow up with this investigation so um, just for the record because um, anybody viewing this wouldn't know that we were at your place earlier oh, okay okay yeah. so um, I think it was around 10 o'clock this morning about that we yeah. came to your house and yeah. uh, you agreed to come up to the station mm -hmm. and uh, we picked you up brought you here mm -hmm. um, was there any conversation about what had occurred on the way up to the station uh, no okay no. all right so we're here today um, we're at the Sault Ste. Marie Police Station. It's the 30th of March, and uh, it's about almost 11.40. And uh, this room, as I said earlier, is video and audio right. tape, so it picks up everything. Mm -hmm. And Kevin will uh, take notes, and if there's okay. something that I've missed... He's on the other side of the exactly. camera. Exactly. Okay. So, um, I'm going to let you uh, start wherever you think it's important to start. Yeah. Um, I know that there was an incident um, earlier this morning between you and your common law, right? Your common law? Uh, yes. Okay. And that's Vincent Scheel, right? Scheel, yeah. Okay. And your full name is? Christina Jane Olson. Okay. And your birth date? July 27th, 1971. Okay. And your address? Uh, 611B Palfrey. Okay. And when you say 611B? That's the basement apartment. Okay. There's an, uh, it's a duplex. Okay. There's the upstairs neighbor, and then we have the three-bedroom apartment in the basement. Okay. And when you say we, who is Vincent that? and I. Vincent and I. And Michaela, my okay. daughter as well. And how old is Michaela? She's 13 now. 13 now? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's who's living there on an ongoing basis? Yeah. It's, um, we also have his son on weekend, every second weekend during school, and we have them all, all summer. Okay. 
So I understand that uh, the police were called to your residence this morning. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can start from there how that happened. Well, I, um, everything had stopped by that point and okay. he had fallen asleep. And I just had enough time to really reflect on what had, what had occurred. Mm -hmm. And looking at my daughter, you know, she doesn't, she, she deserves better. Mm -hmm. um, it's important to have a father in your life that loves you, hurting your mom. But anyway, then I, he had fallen asleep and. Maybe you can start from the very beginning. From the very beginning, from yeah. From where everything started? Well, it actually started Friday night. Okay. Um, he didn't come home. It was the first time he ever went out. He went for a business meeting in the early evening. Okay. Um, he said he would call me and tell me how it went. And I was um, getting Michaela's pictures done at Cabana that night. So uh, I never heard from him. I called his cell phone a bunch of times. I was angry to begin with because I thought he was out drinking. But then by about 4.30, 5.30 in the morning, I hadn't slept yet. And I didn't know where he was. And he wasn't answering the phone. Like usually, like if like he's pulled it once before that he didn't come home, but he called. Mm -hmm. um, so I assumed the worst. I thought I thought something had happened to him. I actually phoned here to see if uh, you know he'd been admitted. And I didn't phone the hospital right away, but because they probably would have recognized him. My mom works in a merge. So anyway, I finally did get a hold of him. Um, I told him I I wasn't gonna be angry when he came home. We we had to talk about it because it was unacceptable behavior that no one should treat anybody else like mm -hmm. that. That I deserve at least a phone call. Um, he'd been doing drugs and drinking all night and was too ashamed to show his face at home, basically. So anyway, he slept all day. I canceled shopping with my mom because I didn't want him watching the baby. Um, and his son was coming later that afternoon. So he did come, but Vince just basically slept all that, all Saturday. Sunday I got up, I went and got groceries with my mom because we don't have a vehicle. She brings me to go there and we do, you know, the little mm -hmm. shopping thing. And, uh... The second I walked in the house, he was on Messenger messaging someone. So I said, you know, we can get off, get off Messenger um, and stop making plans. Let me at least put the friggin' groceries away before you, before you take off with your loser friends. So um, then I realized he was leaving and I said, um, I said, so that's it. You know, you, you think that just because you work and I'm a stay at home mom that, mm -hmm that uh, you get to have all the freedom you want mm -hmm. and I'm chained to this basement like a bomb shelter. Mm -hmm. And I said, your son is here to visit not just me and Michaela, but to visit you too. And he has seen nothing but uh, the back of your head sleeping on the couch or sleeping in bed. He keeps asking me, when's dad gonna do something with me? When I said, what kind of a, a, an example are you setting for your son? And what kind of a father are you being? Well, I, I was yelling at him and uh, I don't usually yell in front of the kids like that, but I had just had enough. It had been too many things in a row. And he wasn't showing any kind of, like, no emotion whatsoever. Like, almost like I was the one who was out of line. Mm -hmm. So he ended up taking his son with him because I at least got that far with him. So anyway, he was a couple of doors down, and uh, he was playing video games with his friend and, uh, like, a teenager. Um with his friend and his son was there and I called over there to tell them that supper was ready because I'd made supper and uh, got everything all ready and just Isaiah came over so I phoned Vince and I said and Isaiah had mentioned I said what are they doing playing video games I said are they drinking beer and he said no I said what are they drinking and he said pop and I know they don't drink pop so I knew they were drinking hard alcohol mm -hmm. uh, and that had been that, that's something that just recently started getting reintroduced into our life before it was it was forbidden I didn't allow it anywhere near the house because he has a, a tendency to drink too much too fast and he's unpredictable mm -hmm. so anyway um, at the end of that conversation I said to him he said well um, do you want me to come home and I said well yeah it would be nice to see you before you go back to work for the next five days mm -hmm. you know I haven't seen you at all let's have a family like a nice family dinner you know mm -hmm. so anyway he came over and brought Adam with him and uh, they just sat while the kids ate and stuff like it was pretty normal just a couple like a casual drink they weren't like out of out of hand like inebriated or anything and then um, 
continued to drink and uh, I put Michaela in bed, gave her a bath, gave her, gave her uh, her bottle, went to bed. And then uh, we were just all kind of sitting around and, uh, and drinking and uh, just, I don't know, we, just, like I, I didn't really feel like doing it, but you know, I, I'd rather have them doing it at home than, than off doing whatever, you know, like I just, he's been very difficult to control lately and I can't, you know, you can't control someone else. Anywho. He, uh, at one point, like, the night was getting late, Adam wanted to go home, but Vince convinced him to come in for another drink, and, uh, we sat down on the couch, and, and before I went, I went outside for a cigarette with Adam, and on my way out the door, he said, uh, make sure you lure him back in, and I, and I looked at him, and I was like, like, what are you talking about? He has a really thick German accent, and sometimes he doesn't get words right, and I, I said, what are you talking about? Adam's your friend or whatever. And he says, just make sure he comes back in. I'm like, whatever. You know, I, did, I just mm -hmm. thought he'd had too much to drink and he was, you know. Mm -hmm. So I went outside, had a cigarette with Adam and then came back down the stairs and sat on the couch. And Vince looked over to me and he said, give him a hand job. I looked at him and I'm like, like I this isn't like something that has ever he's ever said and he, it's like completely inappropriate and I could I don't know where he got it I thought he was at this point I'm like what are you on like are mm -hmm. you on something but he's and he kept saying that and I'm like you you absolutely disgust me I can't even believe that you would talk to me like that in front of your friends it's disgusting so I went outside for another cigarette I just got out of the you know mm -hmm. I, I couldn't believe that someone who's supposed to respect and love me could even think of talking to me like that it was disgusting so anyway I went upstairs and as I was going upstairs Adam was coming up and Vince was coming up and then something just all of a sudden there was like chaos in the back hallway um, I don't exactly know what happened I just know that I got knocked to the side I hit the back hit my head pretty hard on the step and went down and I just I lay there you know what I mean like I just I lay there kind of to scare him because I wanted him to see like you know that mm -hmm. he, he could have really hurt me so I just lay there and when he when he came over and like he started shaking me and, and knocking me around and stuff not out of concern like he was pissed off at me because he's like stop playing your stupid game so anyway um, then he started um, then he said, told Adam, he said, go, um, don't tell any, like, don't, you never saw anything or whatever, just go. Mm -hmm. So he left and he didn't even take his boots with him. I know that they're still in my back hallway. And uh, so Vince was going, I could hear him picking up the cell phone and talking to someone, but he had, the door was shut to the apartment, so I couldn't hear who he was talking to and stuff. But he came out, checked on me again, and then he put a blanket over my head or something. Like, I had my eyes closed. I didn't want him to see me looking around or anything. Mm -hmm. So then he came and he started, he ripped my clothes off. Like, um, my chain went flying off my arm. And so I was, like, lying naked. He dragged me into the apartment. And that's when he, like... He took a, um, what, we have this foot powder thing, and he, like, shoved it, like, I don't know where, what hole he was aiming for, but he hit one of them, mm -hmm. and that's when I woke up. Like, I just, I said, I'm not playing dead anymore, because like, I don't know what else he's going to do to my friggin' body. So then we got at it. He threw me on the couch, and he started slapping me, like, big, you know, like that kind of slap, you know, the mm -hmm. backhand, but he's six foot six, and like a good good build and I started crying and and just telling him to stop he was gonna wake up the neighbors and the baby and whatever and I said and then um, he like I don't know he went on the computer or something I don't I'm not sure exactly what happened at this point it was all kind of like like it, it it was like it wasn't happening you know mm -hmm. so I just I said I'm just going to bed stay away from me don't come near me and I went and I lay in the kids room on Isaiah's bed and uh, he came in shortly after and lay beside me and held me like I don't know 
and that just to control or whatever. It wasn't out of uh, regret for the night, the, for the evening's uh, events. And so I lay there and I waited for him to go to sleep and I just kind of assessed the whole night and decided that I couldn't, I couldn't wake up the next day and, and just pretend that nothing happened, mm -hmm. you know, that he'd crossed the line. Um, he hurt me. Um, I don't want my daughter in a, in a, I, I don't want her to be in some kind of cycle of abuse. I want her to have a good, solid foundation, happy mm -hmm. life. I don't want her to know anything about adult issues until she's an adult, mm -hmm. if I can help it, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So I went and I called the police and I thought I heard him woo. And I thought if he heard me on the phone, it would just escalate it because, um, he doesn't like he doesn't want police involved in anything we already went through this mm -hmm. a while ago he went through freedom of, of abuse and i went to the um victims crisis like all the counseling and stuff too and he was doing so well like honestly he's been a great man and a great dad it's just the last month or so he's been saying his life is boring and uh he wants more excitement and he's been drinking heavily and getting into drugs and stuff and it's just been snowballing out of control and because of my family disowned me when I went back with them my, my mom and I are still talking but I don't want her, I didn't want her to know that there was anything go I don't want to worry her you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. but I, ha I thought I had it under control because I would never have my daughter in like any kind of a, a dangerous volatile kind of environment you know she's number one I put her before anything Anyway, I phoned, phoned the police and I was really panicky. Thanks. I was really panicky because I was afraid he was going to wake up before they got there and he'd know that I called them. So I just, I went and the baby was sleeping. She was okay. And I went and I waited in the, in the back when they, when the police came and they took me home. And he was saying, that, I don't know why you're coming to get me, officer. And I feel so bad. I didn't, I feel guilty and I know that's one of the, one of the things that is just natural, but I, and I hate myself for it because it's not my fault, mm -hmm. but he never had to let it escalate to this point. I love him, you know, I'm the best thing for him. I could have given him like a good, stable, happy home. I just had no, I don't want to party all the time. I have mm -hmm. a daughter to think of. I have a future to think of. I want bigger, better things than living in the basement of a duplex, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I stopped working because I want her to have a good, solid mm -hmm. foundation before and then go back to work when I when she's in school. I kind of put everything, everyone before myself. But, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy being a mom and, and all that. Mm -hmm. And I did my best to hold, the, hold the fort down, but just it's been kind of, it's been a slippery slope lately. I don't know why he's so resentful for me, you know. I just, I don't, we used to party a lot when we first started going out a long time ago and after the first incident where he hit me, um, that was left behind and I said that's it. Obviously the, the lifestyle is affecting our relationship and, and you know, if your life is in chaos, chaotic things happen. So mm -hmm. it was time to turn the page and, you know, put our feet straight on the floor and look ahead to a better life. But in the last little while, I don't know, he, he got a great job. He's doing great at it, making good money. Just got his contract renewed. But as soon as he's off work, he wants to be off drinking with his friends. Like, I'm, I'm lonely. I'm sitting, I, and I can't go anywhere with a baby, you know? Mm -hmm. And I don't want to. I'm quite happy at home. I never thought I'd say that. I used to be a social butterfly. I'm happy. I was happy being a mom. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's, I don't know if there's any other details that you need to know. If there's. Well, we'll go, we'll go back mm -hmm. over. I guess uh, I'm starting to ramble now. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, you said it kind of all started Friday where he just kind of. Well, I went with my mom to go get the Gavana pictures done. Yeah. And we went for dinner, just got burgers and went to her house. And we were supposed to get Isaiah that night. So the plan was for me to be home in time 
so that uh, his mom can drop him off. Mm-hmm. And uh, he called me at my mom's house and said, never mind, Isaiah's ha- staying at his friend's house. He's going to a sleepover and we get him tomorrow. And I said, okay. And it's just, re- he never called my mom's house. And for him to even call, it was like, it was kind of weird. So it was an awkward kind of conversation. And mm-hmm. I didn't ask, usually I'd say, okay, so what time will you be home? I'll meet you then. What are we going to do tonight? Blah, blah, blah. But you know, like my mom doesn't really like him and he doesn't particularly like her. I'm kind of like the, the tug of war rope. Yeah. And so it was just a quick, short um, conversation. And he had said that he, earlier that he'd call me after, um, call me after his, the after he met with this woman about a website because he's he's doing a side contract as a computer programmer I didn't get that call and I got home like quarter to eight and by about midnight I was starting to get really angry because I thought you know he was he met them at the he met this woman at the mall so I knew he was downtown so that was like and it was payday and uh, like he's done that before but he calls me and he comes home just Mm -hmm. stinking drunk which I wasn't up for anyway but but not abusive no you know just pathetically stinking drunk and uh, I thought that's what he was doing but then he didn't call he didn't answer any of my messages I texted him a couple of times and by about 4 35 in the morning I started getting really worried Mm -hmm. because I didn't know where he was I knew I had talked to a couple of people that hang out with him other than you know outside of the house and they hadn't uh, he was supposed to call them back too and and he didn't so me uh, thinking the best I thought something happened to him you know but it ended up that he was at some loser's house freaking drinking and doing blow until well until he got the balls to call me at like nine in the morning well no I got him on messenger I don't know I don't even know the guy I just know it's down by the bus terminal. Vince has a lot of friends that I won't allow in my house. I, I don't want any of that Did he the give scum you a of the though? earth. Um, I think he said Paul's cousin or something like that, but I don't even know who Paul is. Like, Paul is this guy that he knows from when he used to live in Steelton, mm-hmm. and he goes over there and he eats his lunch and stuff sometimes because he works near there. Mm-hmm. But no, I don't know. I don't know Paul's last name. I don't even know where he lives. I just know it's like around the bus terminal somewhere. Hmm. So yeah, I don't. I don't know where he was. I just. Know, I asked. Like I could tell when he got home that he wasn't just drinking. He was something else. I'm not stupid. I worked in the bars, and mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not completely innocent either. I dabbled mm-hmm. in the past. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not that I'm proud of it, but I know. I know all the signs. Mm-hmm. So. So what time did you call the station? Last night? Mm-hmm. No, um, no, when he didn't come home. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was about 8 in the morning. I just talked to, um, they transferred me at the desk, and I didn't file a missing persons or anything. I just talked to a woman on the phone, and I, I said, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not a, I don't want to be like a hysterical female and stuff. I said, mm-hmm. but I'm actually really worried because it's not, not that he's an angel or anything, but he always at least gives me a phone call. Right. And I just know that, like, there's, there's a lot of seedy stuff that happens in the Sioux these days. I've heard a lot mm-hmm. of like baseball batting and, mm-hmm. and you know, like there's a, there's an underground here that's pretty nasty mm-hmm. and disgusting, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and he knows some of those people. So I just, I thought the worst. I didn't phone the hospital because my mom works in Merge and they would have recognized my voice because I sound just like her. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I know that they would have recognized him too if he came in. But mm-hmm. he doesn't carry ID with him too. So that that was my worry that mm-hmm. just something happened. Okay. So going to uh, last night, mm-hmm. which is Sunday, you, uh, you mentioned that you were going outside and he wanted you to lure Adam back in. Yeah, like he said the word lure. He so, said, so make you're sure talking you about Adam. What's Adam's last name? Uh, Warren. Okay, mm-hmm. and, and who is he? Like a He's a friend of Vince's that lives a couple doors down. Okay, okay so he says lure him back lure in. Lure him back in, yeah. Okay. Like, I'm like, I didn't, I, it, uh, it, I just thought he was being an idiot. 
you know, like mm-hmm. sometimes he says inappropriate stuff and he doesn't get the word right because he's he's from Germany and he doesn't, okay. you know, mm-hmm. and I just, I'm like, I don't know what he's talking about or whatever, you know. Yeah. But I'm, I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't really even pay much attention to it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you go out the side door. Yeah, I went out the side door. And you're not going to smoke out there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't you're, smoke in the apartment. You're with Adam. Mm-hmm. And do you convince him to come back in? No, no, he was coming back in anyway. He was going to come Yeah, in. He, we were just going out for a cigarette. Okay. So then you guys go back in. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, Adam sat in Vince's chair, and Vince said, that's my chair. You can sit over there or whatever. And then um, Adam was like, I, I got to go home. He, he had had a cold, and it was the first time that he'd, like, drank in a really long time, so he felt like it was hitting him a little bit harder right. than usual. and. He didn't want to be sick again, so he's like, I gotta go, I gotta go, and Vince is like, no, 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 you know, have another drink. Like, he, he does that quite often with anyone, even if they only come for one, they, they always end up having to stay for two, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, it's it's just the way he is. But anyway, and then he looked over at me, and, and I, like, two seconds later, said, give him a hand job, and I was just like, like the way I looked at him, like there was there was nothing alluring whatsoever about it. It was a disgusting, demeaning. And what did Adam say? Well, I don't know. I was fo- I I was dumbfounded that mm-hmm. Vince would would even say something like that. It was it was. Uh, I I don't I don't stand for that. Like mm-hmm. I don't I don't put up with that kind of bull. So then so then what happened? Like how did this altercation happen in the staircase again? Well, we just, then I, I, he said it again, and, and I was like, no, I, you're fucking disgusting. Mm-hmm. I said, I'm, no, I'm going to go up for another smoke and, and whatever. Like, I just, like, I, I got angry, mm-hmm. and I just removed myself from the whole situation. I thought it was disgusting. And uh, Adam said, I'm going to go up for a smoke, too, or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. I, I had just been out. Like, it was probably maybe 10 minutes or so. And I don't smoke that much, but I I needed to just have a reason to go, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to wake up the baby or anything, because when she's sleeping, I like mm-hmm. to. Anyway, so I went upstairs, and that just, all of a sudden, I don't I don't know exact I can't remember exactly what what instigated the whole. Thing, I, but Vince came. He came up the stairs, but he doesn't smoke. He comes up the stairs with you and Adam? Yeah. Like what I order was, are they in? Adam was first, and yeah. then I was second, and I think Vince, like, cut in front of me. Or, like, I, I, it was, that's when I fell, and, and... Like, how did you fall? Like, describe... Well, he grabbed at me, and he grabbed, grabbed my shirt, and, and, that, yeah, he was, I, I, I don't know, it was like, it was like that. Like, if... If I'm watching from behind at the bottom of the stairs, I don't know. I, I you know what? I it's a, like a small staircase. It was dark and mm-hmm. like I, like how many? I stairs? didn't see it coming. I didn't see. Um, well, you came in my back, my right. back stairs. There's what probably about ten stairs, I guess, to okay. the downstairs. Okay, apartment. so you, you're walking upstairs. Adam's mm-hmm. in front of you, and he grabs you. You say, "Well, I don't know if he, I, I don't know exactly what what happened. I just know all of a sudden there was this like there was chaos." And in the back, like I. Like, where are you at this point? I was falling down the stairs. Like I, I had my shirt wrapped around, and this, like Vince, obviously grabbed me and threw me around a bit. But I don't know, okay. like I don't know why. Like I, I, I don't know if I, I, I might have said some kind of a, a snarky comment because I, mm-hmm. I was pissed off at him, and it was right. inappropriate for me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not one to just sit there and take that. So. You don't you talk to me sh- like that. So describe to me what happens. That's your thing. I don't know. I just all of a sudden, um, I'm like my my sweater's up over my head and I fall down on the stairs and, um, I like I landed on the on the bottom, kind of like down on my face. And I at first I was like, you know, I, I'm gonna show him. I mean, you know, look what happens. So I I played you know dead okay to freak him out okay. basically so just so we get this straight mm-hmm. when you go in uh, to your apartment and you enter from the side of the house there's like a landing and there's, then there's the land- like three yeah. stairs or whatever that go up to the one lady's apartment that's, that's her side access and okay. that's locked she never uses that except to do laundry okay because the laundry facilities are downstairs right 
and then you go downstairs. And then you go downstairs, downstairs, and there's the laundry room, or you turn left, right. and then you go into my it's apartment. It's a short little hallway. It's a tiny little landing. Right. Yeah. So you're telling me that that's where you landed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I was already, I was almost all the way up the stairs, but I went, like, okay. I went to the bottom. Okay. And when I landed, I, I, uh, I basically just lay there um, with my eyes closed and whatever to freak him out. I wanted okay. to scare him. Right. Because, you know, I, and I was scared too, I guess, mm -hmm. but, so he, he came and he checked on me or whatever. And what did he do? He was just shaking on me and then he started pulling up my clothes and, um. Do you remember what you were wearing? Yeah, I was wearing my, my, um, just a, a gray t-shirt mm -hmm. and a black uh, button-up sweater like a it's like a coat sweater kind of thing mm -hmm. and my jogging pants and uh, I don't know where my other boot went I don't know if I had so this is on. a sweater that you say he pulls over your head yeah yeah it's okay. actually it's all ripped and stuff okay. um, I went to put it on to wear it here and, it, and it's wrecked um, okay. I when I was like in the morning before Michaela got up I always have to make sure that it's baby proof and there was mm -hmm. a button and uh, some glass on the floor, and uh, so I had to clean up there. But mm -hmm. that's yeah. He then he grabbed my. I don't know. Like I'm lying there, and and I was like trying to breathe really, really softly, because mm -hmm. I I knew that if he thought. I knew that it would piss him off if I was if I was playing around. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. He's saying no. He's checking on you. Well, he kind of checked. He kind of like just, you know, he came down and I was like, you know, because right. he did hurt my throat in the meantime, like my mm -hmm. neck and stuff. And I was kind of, it felt like my trachea kind of moved a little bit, you know. Okay. So I was lying there and I was breathing shallow and and uh, I don't think he, he basically just turned to Adam and he said, he said, go. You didn't see anything. Just go home. And then he like poked at me a bit and he pulled at me and then he put a blanket over my head. Like he put it like, you know, like you'd put over a dead body. Like what kind of a blanket? I don't know. I think it might have been his windbreaker because I didn't see any blankets there. I didn't open my eyes. I kept my eyes closed oh, okay. the whole time because if he saw me peeking, yeah. I'm, you yeah. know. So I had my eyes closed the whole time and then he, he basically pulled off, he pulled went to pull me and pulled my shirt off. Where is he pulling you at this point? Into the apartment, okay. out of the back landing. Okay. And So how are you being dragged? I was being dragged by my shirt that was up over my head, but it was caught in my armpit. Mm -hmm. And you, I've got like big marks all like bad. Yeah. That's I where I'm hurt him. the most. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, uh, he just kind of, and then well, I was like, and he started pulling the shirt off and stuff, and I don't think he was even really saying anything. And then he pulled my pants off, and then he went away, and, and he let me lie there. And uh, and then he came back, and he uh, he had a, a powder bottle, like a foot powder bottle, and he, he sh tried to shove it up my ass or my mm -hmm. my... Vagina, I, I don't know, but that's that's when I was like, I'm not faking it anymore. You don't do that, you know. Like I don't know why he did it. I don't know. I don't know if he was on something or what. Like it's not. He's not like a sexually abusive kind of person. Like he's not. Uh, like he might drink too much and mm -hmm. and this and that and be like you know. Um, um, it's like a coldness, you know, mm -hmm. like a, not like when I get upset and say, you know, this I don't deserve to be treated like this and stuff. He's like, oh, women, women, you know, mm -hmm. don't be, you know, don't cry. I thought I was with a strong woman, you mm -hmm. know, that kind of stuff. But uh, so when you're and then that happened, and I think at that point I I that's when I got up and I yelled and I was like, what the what the fuck are you doing, you know, like mm -hmm. just uh, like you disgust me, and I was naked. And I went and I sat on the couch and I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe, like, like I couldn't believe he did that. You know, like mm -hmm. just, I needed a second to shake my head. And then he came in and like at this point, it's just all kind of like a, a little bit of a blur, but I know like he did, he 
he hit me with the back of his hand twice on either side of my face so mm -hmm. my head like it went and that's when I was like really scared because I, I thought like he was gonna like uh, he was getting like worse and worse and I said okay 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 that's enough that's enough let's just stop just stop stop it you know and he did and I can't I don't know what like I don't even know what he said at this point like my mind just went numb and I was thinking about Michaela in the other room and the neighbors. Like, I didn't want to, mm -hmm. you know, wake everybody up in the neighborhood. So I went and I said, I'm going, I, I said, I'm, I just, I'm just going to bed now. Mm -hmm. I was crying. And I went and I lay down in the, in Isaiah's bed. Mm -hmm. And Michaela was in the crib beside me. And then shortly after he came in and I said, don't fucking touch me and whatever. And he just pulled me like, right close to him and held me like super tight when I was lying there and then he eventually passed out and, and while I was going through everything in my head I was like I can't I can't let this one go mm -hmm. and that's so, when I called I called 911 so just to uh, just to clarify when mm -hmm. he's taking your clothes off when you're on the floor are you on your stomach or are you on your back I was on my stomach okay and where did you feel the object being inserted? Right, well, right in my leg. Like I was, I was on my stomach, and like, kind of on my side. And he just he rammed was it. Was it in your vagina or your rectum? Uh, kind of happened. Like it was this big. It was like a, a foot powder bottle. It didn't go in anything, but it got. I felt the ram. You know, like okay. I wasn't gonna. Where did you feel it? I know. I that's. I I well, I felt it. I, I thought he was trying to put it up my butt. Okay. Um, but he hit me a bit. Hit, hit me. Is a there bit any discomfort my, there now? Yeah, a little bit, like yeah. a, like a, um, like a, I don't know, like a, a burn, like mm -hmm. you know when I don't know if you have any kids, <laughs> you know when you have childbirth, birth, and mm -hmm. it's like a, it's like rope burn kind yep. of feeling. Yeah, that's okay. it. But it's not anything major that I need like to be checked out or anything no. like that. No. Okay. Um, I'm not injured. When you're, uh, you said that he covered you up with something and you thought it could be a windbreaker or whatever, or and you kept your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. Earlier on when you talked to me, you said that he was talking to somebody on the cell phone. Yeah, I could, he shut the door. And the I door could was hear, shut? Yeah, was so I don't know who he was talking to on the phone, or if he even was talking to a machine or whatever. Right. I couldn't really hear. But uh, What phone was he using? Uh, the cell phone. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Is that the I'm one? pretty sure. Like I, I yeah. you know, I did hear the the click of the cell phone, and I know that on the cell phone it did have a couple of phone calls out. That's right. But he was calling Amanda, and I I don't know. Like that that's weird. Like I don't know. So tell me about that. Well, I don't know why who, he would who's call Amanda? her. Amanda is uh, Adam, the guy who's who was there, his ex girlfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's her last name? Uh, Car. Okay. Yeah. So tell me about that. Like tell me about what. How she fits into the equation? Um, well, Vince, Vince um, used to hang out over at. Uh, she lives like uh, over by on Allard, and she's she was Adam's girlfriend, and he would um, take off and go and drink there. Oh. Okay. Like she she goes to school and she has a baby, but she gets a sitter here and there, and mm -hmm. Adam would be over there drinking, and Vince would go over there. Oh. Okay. So. Um, I figured, you know what, um, if he's going to be off doing whatever, I might as well m meet this girl and, mm -hmm. you know, see what the hell all this is about. And ended up, I liked her. Like, I got along with her really well, and our kids get along well. And I was going to do a resume for her. She's just graduating from college right now. She's a young mother and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she's, she's like a nice person. I get along with her. So why do you think that he was calling her at that time? I don't know. I don't know if it was because, I don't know. I have, have no you idea. thought about that? Like, yeah, that it's just so, yeah, yeah. I don't know mm -hmm. why he would be calling her. I know that he had been, like, um, she came over a couple of times with Jayla just to hang out, and uh, he had it stuck in his head that there was going to be, like, a threesome and stuff. He's, lately, he's been like, his life is so boring and this mm -hmm. and that, and he wants a little bit of this and that. And I'm like, ah, uh, sorry, then you're with the wrong person. Mm -hmm. if, that, if that's what's going to fulfill you in your life, then mm -hmm. go somewhere else because I'm not doing it. 
When was that brought up? Um, for it was probably let me see, a couple of weeks ago. Hmm. He's had it stuck in his head, and it's been bothering he's me. Had the threesome stuck. In yeah, his yeah, head? it's not gonna happen. Well, how did it all come about? Like, what's well, just to, I don't know. Change in him. Um. I, well, he's just. I don't know. I don't know. I would think that uh, the drinking, like he, when he first got the job, he was, you know, in every night pretty much, and just weekends he he let loose a bit, but nothing, nothing major, mm -hmm. you know, like fine, like a, a few drinks. But lately, like in the last month or so, it's just um, he wouldn't tell me where he's going. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, well, you know, it's really not fair that, like, I spend all my time at home doing all, like, my mm -hmm. end of the deal. Mm -hmm. I, I want you home with me. Like, mm -hmm. this is, isn't that what we're building towards? Like, you know, isn't that what it's supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's boring. It's boring. I'm like, it's not boring. It's life. You should be happy to be with a woman that loves you and, and a child that adores you and in a nice, clean home with gourmet meals. You know what I mean? Like, I, I take my job, quote unquote, very seriously. Mm -hmm. I'm a perfectionist, like, you wouldn't believe. Not that you would have seen it today. It was kind of a mess, <laughs> well, but. That's understandable. <laughs> yeah. What other things? Is there anything that I haven't asked you that. I don't know. I just lately, it's just uh, like when he didn't come home on Friday night, the first thing I said to him, I said, Are you cheating on me? Because mm -hmm. I'd like to know. Mm -hmm. uh, on a disease and whatever mm -hmm. and he's like no 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 and I said well then what are you doing that's so important that you can't even call me you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. I know he hasn't cheated on me or I can't say I don't know but uh, he like I think I burst his bubble because I think he brought Amanda over thinking that all this stuff was gonna happen but I ended up getting along with her and we <laughs> made dinners together you know what I mean like mm -hmm. and so his little fantasy poof disappeared eh? did she know about the fantasy oh we laughed about it and we made mm -hmm. fun of him all the time not always in front of his face but it was like right. it's ridiculous I don't know what you know you friggin yeah. I said it's embarrassing I can't even believe like I, I like I can't even believe he would even say that yeah it was embarrassing big yeah. time but she laughed you know like it, the awkwardness went away she's she's like yeah because her ex-boyfriend would say the same thing he's like the only reason Christina and Adam are hanging out with you is because they want a threesome because I guess Adam and Vince you know the 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 male ego stroking and yeah. their little things that they get stuck in their head or whatever but it's not gonna happen uh -huh. so during this whole time was he talking to you or was there ever any kind of comments made during the assault that you can recall? Um, not particularly, no. I know that he was like, uh, just wake up, just wake up. You're not that hurt, you're not that hurt, or whatever, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I know he's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Like, when he really thought that I was really, you know, like, you mm -hmm. could tell he was starting to panic, and then he put the blanket over me. So Why would he do he that? Was, what do you think he did that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did he think you were dead or? Well, that's what I was thinking, but I don't know. I can't read his mind, mm -hmm. you know? That's the only the only logical reason I would see to put a blanket over me. Did he but check then he his, what's that? Did he check your pulse or anything? Yeah, yeah, he checked my pulse and my breathing. Mm -hmm. So he obviously knew that you were. He knew that I was alive, but I was breathing really shallow. Okay. I wanted to scare him. Mm -hmm kind of like go mm -hmm. you throw me around you know you rough me right. up like that look what can happen and then when you woke up what happened what did he say what's that when I went well that was when he tried to shove mm -hmm. the thing yeah that's so embarrassing to even say it well, but that's when that's when it was like okay enough of me just lying here now uh, right. uh, now I'm pissed uh -huh. you know I was like you're disgusting you know I, I let him have it of mm -hmm. course I wasn't screaming that loud because well, I didn't want to wake the you? baby what was he saying I don't know I, I, I was seeing red I, okay. I w basically was just hammering him with whatever you mm -hmm. know like you know you're out all night you're, you know I brought up all the weekends mm -hmm. all the weekends events the fact that you know you you need to grow up you're acting like 
uh, like you know you're you're not the you're not being a man you're being a child mm -hmm. uh, if you want to have your teenage life going out and partying with your friends all the time and your little threesomes then you go do that without me I don't need you you know what I mean right. like I've had it I would had it and he already knew that because we'd had a little argument before but I tried to just smooth it out I thought mm -hmm. you know we'll, we'll work it out because we do can we do have our ups and downs right. but nothing nothing like this you don't you don't hit me okay i'm just gonna um check with kelly and make sure that we've covered mostly everything i'm okay. sure there might be a couple things that yeah, we yeah. missed that we yeah. need to touch on but That's fine. um so just give me one second okay, okay?
keep you. Oh, that's okay. That's just going over a few things here. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to make sure that you had on record that he has threatened to hurt my family if I ever put him in jail again. Okay. Hurt me and or my family. He like, okay. I take it very seriously. He's already beaten my brother up. Okay. Um, my, that's why. That's another reason why my family kind of had to separate themselves from right. from everything. It was it was. I had made my choice, mm -hmm. and they weren't going to put themselves in harm's way um, okay. because of my choice. But okay. um, I just I need to have that on paper because um, it's a fear of mine too. My mom's afraid he's going to come and kill me, but you know that's just an emergency nurse talking to you. But mm -hmm. uh, he's unpredictable, mm -hmm. and now he's backed in a corner. Uh, last time he was really, really, really sorry, you know, like I thought yeah. he was going to come and get me, mm -hmm. but he was just really, you know, like Eeyore with his head low, you know, mm -hmm. but um, I don't want any, I don't want him to be able to have any kind of contact with me and like I don't, I don't want to ever, ever have him darken my doorstep again, like there's no way um, that I will ever, ever have any sort of a relationship with him again. Um, okay. I have uh, lots of things that I have to clarify yeah, with you, though, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Um, one of the things was Isaac was... Isaiah. Sorry, yep, Isaiah that's okay. was supposed to sleep over. You were supposed to get him Friday night, but you yeah, we always get him. sleep over. Right. Saturday, did he sleep over? Yeah, yeah. And then when did he go home? Was he, he there? He left or? at, uh, he got picked up by his aunt around 8 o'clock. Everything was fine at that point. At 8 o'clock at yeah, night? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so he wasn't. We there. had dinner, and no, no, he wasn't there when when anything happened. Okay, no. because what's going to happen is I'm going to have to go and I'm going to have to interview all these yeah, people, right? Yeah, you understand I know. that? Yeah, no, Isaiah didn't. He didn't know anything about anything. Okay. Yeah. Now the the uh, matter with Adam, because mm -hmm. he gonna was there. We're gonna yeah. have, excuse me. We're going to have to follow up with Adam. Oh yeah. Um, was there ever any type of relationship that you and Adam had? Oh God, no, no, I don't like him. Actually, like I don't, I just allow, like you know how like you keep your friends close but your enemies closer. Yeah. Um, he, I always thought was the big influence on. It was mostly since Vince started hanging out with Adam that he found a drinking buddy. Oh, okay. And that they, so how they long were. How long have they known each other? Um, they actually met each other in jail when I sent him to jail the first time for hitting me. Oh. Okay. Um. So yeah, I didn't approve approve of that whole thing. But he lived two doors down, and he was under house arrest for the mm -hmm. last couple of years. Yeah. So um, they just built his parent. He lives with his parents, mm -hmm. and uh, they built a deck, and it it's an elevated deck. Right. And once he was out on the new deck, he could see into our yard, and he saw Vince. Oh, okay. So they recognized each other, and right. so after that, they started hanging out, and they've been drinking buddies since then. And that would have been probably. It's been less than a year. It probably was around uh, end of April, beginning end of April, beginning of May last year. Okay. And Adam, he was under house arrest, but he came over to our house all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. But. Uh, well, well, what about? Uh, I I had it to a point where I wouldn't let Adam in my house and stuff, mm -hmm. but that's when Vince started going out all the time and mm -hmm. this and that. So I kind of backed back down on my no Adam rule. Okay. What about I'd rather uh, have know what Vince is doing by having him at home than you know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you know, he spends he spends stupid amounts of money on the bars and stuff. I'm like, well if you're gonna do it, do it at home. What were you drinking that night? What's that? Sunday night. What were you drinking? Sunday it was they had uh, rum. Mm -hmm. They bought some rum from delivery and we had a couple of beer and uh, in the fridge. And then there was. Were you guys uh, all drinking the same thing? Um, pretty much, but I wasn't drinking as much as they were. You know, like I, I had a few, but what, it, they what power were you drink. drinking. Oh, same thing. Like there was only a little bit of rum. They poured me a, a good stiff drink, but it lasted me about like four hours. You oh, know, okay. like I just nursed it. Okay. And then um, I had a beer, a uh, Warsteiner beer, and. Uh, he, we didn't have very many of those. I think I had two of those. Like, this is from six till about, what, two, I guess? It must have mm -hmm. been one or two. No, maybe not even that late. I don't know. Okay. So, you mentioned that uh, 
he's got this new job and he's making good money. Well, he's doing well, yeah. And it's in where, a field that he likes. What is, where is he working? Uh, he's working at, um, it's North Shore uh, Wheel Manufacturing. He's a um, in-house programmer there. Okay. Yeah. Interesting work. It's what he loves to do. And, like, he's, honestly, like, I, I wrote him the cover letter and the resume. He just had to show up to the interview, you mm -hmm. know. Because he's from Germany, he's not his. He's he's good in English, like he totally mm -hmm. understands it and stuff. But he needs like a, a yeah. little bit of help, and I've always been his okay. right hand man. Okay. Some of the other things that I need to clarify is. Um, I have marks on my hands too. Like I have scratches on my hands, and I don't know what that's from. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go through a few things first. Yeah. The uh, the powder object that you're talking mm -hmm. about. Um, was it inserted or wasn't it inserted? It was. It, he rammed it. I. He didn't get it in. No, it was this. It's like a foot powder, like a big yeah. giant foot powder thing. Okay. It was like bent. You know, mm -hmm. like like he rammed it hard enough that that it didn't stay. Like it's a squishy. You know, like yep. a powder thing, mm -hmm. and it kind of went. You know, it was on the floor. I think they took a picture of it and stuff when they came in. I didn't okay. touch it. When and you know I'm gonna get personal. I know. I know. I'm gonna get personal yeah. here, and you know we have to do this. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I smelled shit. Okay. All right. But I'm on my period, too, so I had a tampon in. Okay. So, like, I, I don't know. Do you, is using objects for sexual... Oh, God, never, never, ever... never. Like, no? never, no. And I mean... That's why I couldn't even, like, I couldn't believe... I don't know where he picked these things out of the trees. Yeah. You know? Okay. I don't know if he was just trying to piss me off, or okay. if he really, like... Had it like if it's finally his last little brain cell popped, you know. Okay. Because of the severity of the complaint that's here today, mm -hmm. you know, we have to look at everything. Yeah, and, I know. and I had to look at the responding officers, uh, you know, notes and okay. recollections. I was of pretty when hysterical they were when they got there too. Yeah, I understand that, but there's yeah. a lot of indiscrepancies that I need to oh, okay. to go over with you because. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay. And if it didn't happen, yeah. And, and there's something that you know you want to clarify yeah. with me. Okay. Clarify it now. Yeah. Because now's the time exactly. to do it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Okay. You're grabbed and you're pulled down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, were your clothes taken off? How how were your clothes taken off? Because according to what we have here is that. Your clothes are ripped off, yeah, and you're thrown to the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, how does the fall happen? Like, I, I, it's really hard for me to get a description of he how this fall okay. is happening. If, yeah, if you're in the middle and then out of the blue, you know, you no, he he assaulted me, mm -hmm. but he start and he started. What did I was he do trying to, to get assault away. you? He was ripping out my clothes, like okay. just like he was attacking me. What for though? I don't know. I was making fun of him what was, for his stupid what, how comments. How was he attacking you? Like what? Well, kind of just all of a sudden he started ripping my clothes off, like ripping at my clothes, like trying to, you know, like, you know, shaking me kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, it wasn't exactly the best place for. It. I don't know why he didn't do it downstairs or whatever, but he did mm -hmm. it in the back hallway. Okay. And then he ripped he ripped up my shirt and it it pulled up and. And pulled it up was, yeah, well, he it pulled was it up. Ripped off. He ripped it up, and uh -huh. it was up like around. I don't know if it was. It wasn't over my face, but it was around my neck. Okay. My pants were still on, but I like, I fell and I hit my head a bit, and and I was scared. I didn't know what else he was gonna do. So that's when, and then I also did it like to to scare him too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about? But he started ripping, he ripped up my clothes, like, I, I don't know how, like, he, he must have grabbed me by, like, the scruff of my shirt or something, just looking at the rip on my sweater, mm -hmm. and that could be where all this came from, from mm -hmm. the sweater ripping mm -hmm. against my neck, mm -hmm. but he spun me around on the stairs, you okay. know, and went down, and he was still, must have been still holding on to my clothes when I went down, mm -hmm. when, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. So and I fell, and then I and then I fell forward because I didn't want to be like you know, totally prone. I'd rather have like you know be kind of down. Right. 
but so, then I couldn't so see what was going on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, neck? I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, I didn't really look at them too much, mm -hmm. but uh, I know that this is the size, this sweater, or the sweater that I had on, it's all, like, I went to wear it, and it was mm -hmm. all ripped, and it's a okay. good, tough sweater, so okay. he must have, like, grabbed me and whipped me around on that side, Okay. but I don't, and the same thing with here, like, trying to rip my shirt off, I think that's what happened there, and the, my back thing would be maybe from hitting the stairs mm -hmm. when my shirt was pulled up. I think it's rug burn. I'm not really sure. I can't see it. Where does the choking take place? He had the choke. Oh, yeah. He was. I forgot about that. I mean, pardon me. Yeah, he started. He had the. My uh, sweater was around my neck. And it was like uh, when I first went down to the ground. Um. He's like, oh yeah, you, you you're you're down now or whatever. There's you want to you really want to choke? I'll choke you, like that kind of thing. And I gasped, and he stopped. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about the choking. What do you mean you gasped? Tell well, I couldn't that. breathe. He had his arm, his hands around my throat, and he kind of had the sweater around it too. Mm -hmm. Did you tell about the that. officers about that? I'm not sure. I forgot about that, actually. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Cause that's why I lay there more because I was I was scared. It wasn't like he tried to kill me when I was already out or anything like that. But I think it was just. I don't know. He was out of control. I can't, I can't put thoughts into his brain. I mean, I can't read his mind. Now, when the officers are there, Mm -hmm. You tell them something different than what you're telling me about the phone calls. I thought he was calling to get rid of my body. That's what I thought he was doing. But when I saw that he called Amanda, I when, say, yeah, I know, but what like you that say was to my the officers is that you heard him make these phone calls, okay? Yeah. Making arrangements and asking questions about what to do with the dead body. So where yeah. does that come from? Well, you thought, say because you don't hear anything, and then now you're... You know what I mean? That that's a big uh, yeah, issue for me. I know. And had like the off, an officer, you know, would is pretty precise about yeah. But what what is said here? So why was yeah. that said? Did you make that up? I don't know. Well, we need. I'm second we need guess. To, I know. I'm, to but I'm second that. guessing myself. Now's the time. No, I know. I'm not trying to. I'm not no. trying to dick around here. It's just like when he attacked me last time. Mm -hmm. I took a knife and I threw it down on the ground, but it was in such a, mm -hmm. it's such a, like a whirlwind that I like thought he grabbed the knife. Okay. Like, I just want to make sure that I don't say anything more incriminating than, than, than he actually did. Yeah. You know, that's what I thought. Maybe it was just an assumption. I don't think I heard, I don't know if he, I actually heard him like on the phone, but he was talking, mm -hmm. he was talking. Yeah, I, I definitely don't think he actually I said that. I, I don't think he did either. No. I definitely know. I that think I was just <laughs> reacting. I was freaking out, and I didn't mean to like lie. You know what I mean? I didn't yeah. mean. Because um, some of the things that you said to the officers isn't exactly what you're yeah, telling me today. Yeah. So things are a lot different. Well, I've had time to kind of put piece everything together. Everything I was scared at that mm -hmm. point, and that I was right. thinking the worst. You know, like what could have happened and my baby and all that mm -hmm. you know but you know I've had when something like that happens you know police have to investigate yeah it. if it's a false allegation oh yeah there's a that's a serious I know offense it is. where you could be charged for yeah that. exactly and so I don't think he uttered I don't think he uh I don't think he was disposing of a, of, of a dead that's, body. That's what I thought he was doing. I couldn't hear. I, I couldn't hear, but I heard him on the phone, and I was lying with a blanket over my head in the back yeah. steps. Yeah, I, I understand that you're scared in the situation, but to specifically say that you heard him make phone calls to an unknown person making arrangements I did hear him making and asking questions what to do with the dead body well, he could, of your estranged yeah. wife, that is so specific. Mm -hmm. 
that... Well, he might have been saying that, like, to me when I was lying there. I don't know if he was actually talking to well, someone and say I don't know. Okay, we have to, uh, we have to decide what the truth is and yeah. what the truth isn't. Mm -hmm. Because, bottom line, at the end of the day, we don't, this is your opportunity to give us the facts and just right. the facts, not anything made up. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to find out later that something different happened. Mm -hmm. Because this is the time to tell me that what happened happened right. exactly in what order and what didn't happen mm -hmm. okay and what happened this morning is different from what you're telling me what happened now with that it's not totally different a lot of the important facts that you provided the officer with mm -hmm. you didn't tell me you didn't tell me about you you totally brushed them off like they didn't happen like the choking mm -hmm. and the uh, the uh, no, no, disposing of a dead body, uh, you know, this is all. This is all. Those are pretty important things mm -hmm. that I think would stand out in somebody's mind, and that's all that would stand out in my mind if that happened to me. Oh my God, he wants to get you know, yeah, he's the planning choking. to kill me. Yeah, What's up? Story. Why? Why? Are, why did you say those things? Why did I say that he did that? Yeah. Well, he did choke me. But you're saying a lot more happened to the officers that arrived first than you're telling me right now. Well, it was fresh in my memory then. So what's the truth? I don't know. Then or now? I don't know if he was actually talking to someone saying the dead body, but he did utter those words. But when you initially talked to me, you tell I me know, you I don't didn't. hear a I darn thing. You just hear the phone click and the phone call end. Yeah, because I'm not sure of that and I don't want him to get charged with something that he didn't do. But you've already said it. You, you've said it and it's out there. Mm -hmm. And now... I'm left with what's the truth and what's not the truth because there's some pretty serious allegations there mm -hmm. and if they didn't happen we need to know that mm -hmm. I know well he did choke me is that all that happened was that he choked you yeah but then he did get on the phone and I maybe I'm just trying to think I know it's it's upsetting, but I know, and I know you're just trying to do your we're job. We're just trying to do our job. I know, and I'm not trying to mess nope. with that. I and, swear, and I'm and not. you know what? I'm not picking on you. I just, I'm <laughs> totally not it's picking just, on you. It's a lot of stuff to yep. process. And the fall. I'm not, are you sure that the fall happened the way it happened? No, I, I. Well, I know that he attacked me. Like I didn't just fall down the stairs. It wasn't just I tripped over his feet or something. Like there mm -hmm. was some sort of like. I don't know if he actually was barging in front of me or if he was trying to start something. Um, I don't know what, like it was just, it happened so fast. So you I was just going outside. So we don't know if in fact. I don't know what his intent was at, the, at that point. He intended on that happening. Exactly. Because he Sorry, thinks I'm that, no, that's okay. He says that, you know, you're you're faking it or whatever at the bottom of the stairs right does he say something well like he, that? well yeah not really he he checked on me and stuff but right. I, but then he, he was like oh you want to fake it you know whatever. so if he's checking on you and then you're saying to the officers that he makes the phone call wanting to know you know how to get rid of this body mm -hmm. that's not right no I know that's not right because if he knows you're alive why but, yeah. why would he say that and how could you hear that if the door was closed? Because when I knocked on the door to come see you. Mm -hmm. You can't hear much. You can't no. hear. Well, I was kind of half in the doorway. He had it closed. Mm -hmm. But it was like there was enough open. But it, yeah. you can't, you know, like it's a big door. You don't, and yeah. he was kind of pacing. Like I could hear bits and pieces mm -hmm. when he was talking. And I could hear the phone. Like that's what's sticking in my mind. The sound of the, like the mm -hmm. cell phone makes that audible click when you open it. Yeah. So I knew as soon as I heard that, that he was going to be on the phone, but he didn't stand like over me and, and talk on the phone. Mm -hmm. He was pacing. You guys have had 
so much going on in your life, especially for a new mother who's at home 24-7, been there, done that, Mm -hmm. know what it's like, having fever, yeah. you get it. It was antsy, a long winter. And it's not fair when you're the one that's got all of the responsibility for the longest time, mm-hmm. and then you'd like a little bit of a break, but you can't get a break because mm-hmm. your boyfriend wants to go out and relive his childhood. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. I get you that. You got all that right. I get that. Yeah. I even pick up on, there might be something going on with Amanda. There might be, but there I don't know something. for a fact. I've been there trying to kind of you guys, you guys, figure something out, too. You guys are... Walking on eggshells around each other mm-hmm. because not everything. Oh is, no, I've called him on all of that. Not it. I tried everything to get is peachy keen though. No, no, he's no. not talking to you about what's actually going on. No, and you're he's suspecting. been hiding stuff from he's me lately. He's been hiding stuff, yeah. and you know that. Mm-hmm. So there's problems going on. Yeah, you guys are in the stairwell heading out for a smoke, mm-hmm. and for After whatever he said, whatever stupid thing he yeah, said, you know, whatever, whatever happens to put you at the bottom of the stairs. You fall, and as a result of falling, you want him to say, "Hey, you know what? Look what can look, happen. Look, like, it. you look. want to put a little bit of a scare in." Yeah, him. yeah, right. Mm-hmm. I get that. But then he didn't just fall for that and get all concerned and stuff. He like started choking at me and stuff. Like it was. Um, well, now you're telling not me that choking, he's choking at you. No, he well he he was still pulling at my clothes. Like I wasn't na- I was naked when he went to put the thing yeah. under me. I wasn't naked when I fell down the stairs. No, no, and we we know. Like that. I don't know. I, we know, I was scared. I was scared too. We know. We you know? know that the clothes are. I was scared. Uh, yep, yeah, totally. Totally. Because he'd already hit me before, but it was yeah. just like a quick, and that was it. He pushed me, and I hit the wall, and that was it. He what never, mean, like... Like another time, or...? Yeah, I okay. charged him the first time. Yeah, okay, yeah. so... But not... He didn't hit you before you oh, fell no, down no, the stairs, no, right? no, no, right. no, no, no. Right. And why would he do that? Why would he do that with a witness there? Cause oh, because knows. Adam... No. He and Adam are thick as thieves. Yeah, I know, but Adam... He, he knows that we're going to have to talk to Adam. No, he didn't think I'd ever call the police. Yeah. But that's no. I don't no, think he, there was an intentional fall, an intentional push to make you go down those stairs. I don't think he would want to hurt you. I don't think at that specific point, no. No. And then w- when it happens and you're there, mm-hmm. everything just kind of yeah. goes offside. Right, exactly. Right? Okay. And then and he could have just been saying that to get me or whatever like I can't remember like this is the thing I don't know if I put it in my own head or if I'm like I, well, I'm I, I you know what though I, you hadn't had that much to drink no and you're not using it you're not a known drug user no I'm not I wasn't using any drugs so no I think something like that would stand I know. out distinctly in my mind I think I would remember I know. that I know and I would not ever forget that yeah. ever I know. right so yeah. Are you saying to me that you're sure that this is what happened? I'm I'm sure that there was a fall and at the bottom of the stairs and he like I think the he was like he was angry with me and so mm-hmm. he thought that if he choked at me or whatever that I would react but I still played I still lay there. Yeah. You know, like I don't like I can't I can't explain exactly no, why it happened and stuff. I human just human nature. Uh, we do things and yeah. we react in different ways. Mm-hmm. Not everybody but reacts. But then when he did way. that thing with the 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 um the powder. Yeah. That's when I got up and, and I was rip snorting mad. Yeah. Like that was it. Right. You know, like I'd already almost friggin' broken my neck going down the stairs and whatever. And you but, were upset that that the I couldn't. Well, the first the stupid lewd comment of a yeah. freaking hand job. Like, yeah. who does he think he's talking to? And then yeah. this crap happens. And then, and then, so I got mad at him. Yeah. And uh, rightly so. And then it, we went into the living room, and that's when it, he started hitting me. It you know, got it got ugly, nasty. Yeah. Well, the the bottle thing was nasty enough, but that was it. I was like, I'm not. I'm not lying here anymore so he could, to scare him now he's got to be scared because mm-hmm. I'm pissed mm-hmm. you don't do that to someone mm-hmm. and it's not like we're into that kind of stuff he, like this is the whole thing I don't know where he's picking this stuff out of the trees mm-hmm. doesn't make any sense somebody's putting some ideas you know mm-hmm. that's not me so after the fight on the couch and you said I'm gonna go to bed yeah right I'd had enough like 
at what point like are you saying like okay like I just want to go to sleep no I was I was like I didn't want to I didn't want to like call the police in front of him because mm -hmm. it would have escalated mm -hmm. and I hadn't decided if I was going to call you or not to tell you the truth mm -hmm. but when I saw the marks on myself and and uh when did you see the marks on yourself well I went to I went to the bathroom oh, okay and uh because I'm on on my rags, I changed yeah. my tampon, and I went in there. And when I was in there, I looked, and I was missing like a patch of hair, and mm -hmm. I, you know, I could see the marks all on my face. It was like really welted up and stuff, yeah. and I was in pain. And um, I went in, and I like, I I just I just saw my baby, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and I'm like. What am, what's going to be the difference is me phoning in the morning mm -hmm. when he's at work or phoning now. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I got to phone now. Because mm -hmm. I didn't know if he was going to wake up and... and I don't know if he would have woken up and continued, but he might have woken up and, and convinced me not to call. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want any of this stuff to happen. Yeah. It's embarrassing. There's a lot of I told you so's going in a lot of people's minds, you know, because mm -hmm. I yeah. did give them a second chance. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just be one second, okay? Okay. Revisit the stair thing. Okay. Okay. I'm going we've, through it over we've and got over in my A couple head. versions of your story here. Okay. One is you think he's trying to walk past you. Does he walk past you and you accidentally fall? Or do you no. purposely get pulled back onto the onto He pulled the at me. He, pull, he pulled it wasn't you. an accident. He didn't trip his feet up with me or something. Um how do you go down the stairs? I like, grabbed I grabbed at him too. I ripped his jacket. Okay. I have that jacket. But how do you fall down the stairs? Like how do you I flipped around and I and I like I hit the back back of my neck, back mm -hmm. of my head. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I, I went my I was down, like <laughs> down. Okay. If I'm going up I was the stairs going up and the I'm stairs getting pulled back. And, well, no, he was like this is he was I don't know if he was in front or behind me. Like it's it's well, you said Adam was in front. Adam was at the top because his and boots were at the top and he was putting them on. Yeah, I was going up first because because Vincent doesn't smoke. I don't know if he like barged in front of me or if he grabbed me and got in front of me. 
you know, like it, it happened so fast. But like, do you like roll down the stairs? No, I slid on my back. You slide and backwards? I slid, I slid on my back for a bit and then I went forward. Like I kind of went back and sideways okay. and then down on my, down like this at the bottom. Like, and I was like lying kind of with my legs to the side and my face kind of down like this. Yeah. That's how I was at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. And then we don't, we're still unclear about, did he grab at your sweater or did he like, how did, how did he choke you? Like, does he physically choke you or does he, is he just well, ripping he at like your sweater? Check, well, he was checking, he was checking my breathing and my, and my pulse. Mm hmm but he was rough. Like he, it wasn't like he was taking care to see if I was okay. Okay, but that's like he. It's I don't. He was pulling at my shirt. Like my right. shirt wasn't all the way off, and then it was all the way off. Like he pulled on that. Yeah. You know, and he was choking me that way. Oh, okay. But it's he not was like choking. Not like he was going. Like no, this. I don't have handprints or anything here. No, oh, it was okay. my sweater tied, like caught on my neck. Oh, like okay. that's how I was choking. He was okay. choking me with my sweater. You okay. know. So. But your eyes are closed, yeah, right? Yeah. You say your eyes are closed the whole time. Uh, yeah. When you're lying there. Yeah. And then you mentioned that he brings you back into. He the, dragged me in. Yeah. He, he knocked okay. some of the paneling how does off. He, the, how does he drag you in? By my pants. What do you got off your pants? Uh, jo jogging pants and underwear. Okay, so he has. So he like he pulled me. He's strong. He, oh he, like, no, I you know? totally. You know what? How does he come from behind yeah. underneath? Or no, did he just drag your feet. He okay. He he kind of grabbed my grabbed my legs and dragged me in. So he's, you know what I mean? Like he pulled me around and pulled me in. So I was lying in the door. Yeah. The door to the apartment. Uh huh. But I'm trying to think which way I was facing. He turned me around. See, that doesn't make sense. I don't think he didn't pick me up under my shoulders or anything. He just he, like under my armpits or any, and he he just dragged me and kind of twisted me in. But it Twisted doesn't, you in. Well, just you know, like it's a small doorway, yeah. and I was kind of like right there, you know. Yeah. But he managed. He got my legs in and my body in. Like he dragged me in the apartment. So I just can't. I don't know. Your shirt is off when you're getting dragged in, right? Um, pretty much. Like it's up over. It's up like it, it's all. I'm bare. And what about you your know? pants? Um, they were, they were still on when they I fell up. down the stairs and everything. Yeah. Um, they might've like, you know, came down a little bit because they're track pants or whatever. Right. When but you're getting dragged in. Mm -hmm. I think when he was dragging me in, they, they came down because he was trying to drag me in, you know, okay. like. Like how far down? Oh, they were down around my ankle. When he was dragging you? Uh, not when he was dragging me, no. But one, like, it, not at the beginning, no. But he was pulling me in. Let me see how that goes. Yeah, he like pulled me, he pulled me in by my legs and the pants mm -hmm. pulled down. down. Yeah. That came down to your ankle? Uh, no, like just right below my ass. Below your ass. Yeah. Okay. So do you just leave them there? Yeah. But your eyes are closed. They're closed. Yeah. Because I still, I didn't know what he was going to do next. And I, mm -hmm. I still didn't think that he'd got a taste enough of his, his medicine. Like, so you're mad. Oh, I was pissed. I was so, pissed. I wanted, I didn't know how far he was going to go. What you do you know? mean? Well, I didn't. I was interested to see if he would phone the phone the ambulance or something like that. Oh, okay. You know. Okay. He, I would have. I would so, have been concerned. So what is what is his next step once he drags you in there? Do you have shoes on? Uh, no, no. no? I can't find my other boot. I don't know where okay. it went. I had shoes on when I was going up the stairs. I had my Sorrel boots on. When you. But I just the had stairs? them slipped on when I was going up the stairs. Yeah. When you get pull, pulled down. Like when you go down. Yeah, yeah. You but they weren't on. Them. No, I like I don't I think they fell off when I came down. They just slide on. Like I wear them to go outside to have a cigarette. They're like okay. really loose. They're oh, like big okay. slippers kinda. Oh you know okay. what I mean? So I didn't have them all tied up or anything like that. So he pulls you in, drags you in mm -hmm. by your feet, you My hit. pants fell down oh. and I didn't I still didn't react. Like I was still like playing unconscious. Pants, your pants what are they, they were made, down below what are they made out of? Oh, jogging suit material, Con like a uh, cotton lycra kind okay. of thing. Do they have uh, a drawstring? Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't tied. Okay. What about your underwear? 
just regular like uh, briefs kind of thing. Okay, yeah. but were they up or down? Uh, um, they were kind of like it, it was. I could feel my butt hanging out. Okay. You, but I, I wasn't. He didn't pull them down to my ankles or anything. You well, know what I mean? Okay, so so this object, this powder bottle, how does this come into play with your pants up? Well, no, he he must have pulled them down. Like they must have been down just enough that that could be there. Like my butt was hanging out. Do you know what I mean? Like okay. I was on my side. Yeah. And I was still, I still hadn't moved. So you're, he drags you on your back though. Mm. You're saying he's dragging you on your back. He like kind of on my side, on up, on my back. No, not on my back. He grabbed me by my feet. I was face down. He picked up my feet and he turned me around and he pulled yeah. me in the apartment. On your face? Kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah, on my stomach. He never flipped me over. Like, I was never on my back. He pulled me. He just pulled me out of the back hallway. So and then when he did, I just down pant- like that. Because I didn't have them tied up or anything. They were just jogging pants. So, like, so he but, must have pulled on the material you know and like they came down. But if you were like not on your back and you're on your side and you're getting dragged, one side would come down, but the other side would probably stay no, up. I was, no, he was pulling me in by my by my legs. By your legs. Yeah, yeah. I know, but when you're dragging, yeah, visually picture He's yourself pulling. dragging. Mm-hmm. And if you're on and your my side... Leg, and I'm like this, not completely on my side, I'm kind of on or. my front. Yeah. Well, and then he pulled me in and he, that was like they came down. But how do you insert an object with your pants just like that? I was li- lying like this. Like my feet, my my knees were up near my torso. I was lying, not fetal position like this, but kind of like that. Does he put you in this position? No, no, it was the way he, he threw my legs down and left left them there. Like he just, it, I don't know, I don't, that's what happened. Like he dragged me, I didn't get up and move. I didn't, and I didn't fight anything. I just let him drag me. And you have a tampon in. Mm-hmm. So, does he know you have your period? Uh, yeah. Okay. But he doesn't always remember. Okay. What do you mean? He well, there's remember. lots of times where he'll say, oh, okay, well, let's get it on. Like, I'm on the rag. You know that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. it's not he, okay. it, it's not something that he, he totally acknowledges and remembers. It's not his issue. It's my issue. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. But... Do you remember your pants being pulled off? Yeah, they came down when he pulled me into the apartment. Okay, yeah, but let's say and then my let's say they're right to here because they're not going to come all the way off. You said they only came to here, which is midway. Well, like here, yeah. Okay. It would be kind of tough. You'd think that he would need to pull your pants down a little bit more in order to, to put like something like that in there. Well, he just came from behind and he shoved it. So you he like, might have gra- I don't were know your pants like yeah down they were like below like, your butt cheek the, yeah 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 they he pulled me jogging pants they come down when you don't oh, have no, my totally, tie you know totally, what I mean I, and I they know what jogging like, pants like, like, no no I'm not trying to I'm not uh, no you know no I know but no that's not, I don't he didn't like pull my pants off and then shove the thing I he didn't do that they were down. I don't know why he did it. I don't so, know why. It was just, that's, it shocked me. What, what part of you are you, what are you looking at when this is happening? I have my you, eyes closed. But I, you open your eyes. I did once, once he put the thing Right. There. What do you yeah. see when you open your eyes? Um, well, I just got up and he, like, he was standing there. Like yeah, he, I know, he, but what do you see? He's behind you. I saw red. You're looking, you're on the floor and you're like. What the hell? What, do you like, see? what the hell did you do that for? That's what these... do you see? What do you see? Where are you lying? What do you see? He was standing there. No, he'd have to be behind you. No, I turned around as soon as as yeah, soon I as I before that. Oh, I didn't see anything. I had my eyes closed. I don't know where. It, I, know, I don't even know where the powder hits, was. But when an object hits you, you're gonna go. Yeah, I saw the wall. You're gonna go. Yeah, I, exactly. I saw the like, wall. The... I was face the, facing the wall. Which wall? Um, the one by the, like the, well, not the wall, the door, where the door is pushed open. Yeah. Over there, like where the high chair usually is. Okay. The door that we You know where my in? table is? Yeah. yeah. You know where my table is? Yeah. There's a door that we come up and we usually put the high chair there 
to hold the door open because that way you get the lady upstairs controls the heat and it's really hot so we use that for air okay so um the high chair hadn't been there because um i had just a normal chair there holding mm -hmm. it open you mm -hmm. can kind of prop it when the baby's in bed when she's up she can move it and it closes the door and i'm afraid it's going to hit her fingers mm -hmm. um yeah it was facing i was facing to, oh wait i was facing the door i can't was the door closed or was it the door that was just pri propped open? Yeah. I don't know what I saw. I don't. You I mentioned something earlier that you thought that you smelled shit. Yeah. What? I thought it was mine from him from hitting it so hard. Okay. Which didn't make that much sense, but I did smell it. Like, like I didn't have any on me or anything. It's, I don't know. It's just I smelled something. And I went in the bathroom. I didn't have like any blood or anything. Like, he didn't get it in. He just mm -hmm. he rammed it. You know. The smaller end. No, the big bottom end. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like. That's not gonna go anywhere. It doesn't matter if I I didn't have twelve kids. I had Was one. He, like just throwing it at you? He or? shoved it. He shoved it. And I don't know like I just felt the I felt the bottom edge kind of pushing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me either. Mm -hmm. Cause would it be like this is a cleaning box here? Mm -hmm. Would it would be the, yeah like it's. It's foot powder. It's Dr. Mm -hmm. Scholl's. Yep. It's about this big and about that that big around. Right. And it wasn't the top end that he that he shoved. I don't think. Didn't feel like. But it. you say it bends in half. Well, it put it compressed. You I know, like how do you know it compressed? Because I saw it. He dropped it on the ground when I moved. It was on the kitchen floor, and it buckled. You know, like it's not a strong. Uh, it's a squishy thing. Yeah. Oh, I know exactly yeah. what it is. Did he place the item in your rectum? No, 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 he just shoved it in that area. Because according to the information that was provided to the it. officers, is it was placed in your rectum. No, it wasn't placed. You, sh you can't place something like that in my rectum. They, got, they, they wrote that down wrong. He mm -hmm. shoved it. He shoved it. It was like a blunt force. There was nothing gingerly done. There wasn't any kind of like, you know, I didn't even want to say anything about it. You know, no, it was I, embarrassing. Yeah. I don't know why he did it. You know, yeah. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't make sense to you either, but mm -hmm. it, he's, he's not, he's never sexually assaulted me, you know, like, mm -hmm. well, he kind of, the last time we got in, into it, you know, it was a different kind of thing. But no, he's not like, I don't know where all this perversion just came. Like, I don't know if he was on something. Maybe, maybe he took a pill or something. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can usually tell if he's just drinking or uh, and I said to him when they got there they were really talkative and stuff and I'm like what are you guys on mm -hmm. and it was it wasn't acknowledged and I didn't feel like pursuing it mm -hmm. but they'd also had like a half a bottle a half a 26 or a rum in them already after, you know in a quick mm -hmm. quick amount of time so mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. I'm not making up the thing about the uh, the, the Dr. Scholl's foot powder. Like, I would rather that I didn't even say anything about mm -hmm. it. You know, it's embarrassing mm -hmm. as hell. Yeah. But the way everything else happened is a little bit different. You would agree with me there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was hysterical last night. Mm -hmm. I was scared. I couldn't believe that it, that any of that anything had happened mm -hmm. and I was angry with him too yeah and I probably did like I did um, maybe over exaggerate a couple of things mm -hmm. and I think that's that's why I didn't like that's why I didn't want to write my statement at that point I wanted to kind of just reassess what was going on because I felt like I was just yeah panicking and thinking the worst and maybe putting you know extra details in there and I don't want to like I don't want him to be persecuted for anything that he didn't do mm -hmm. you know I'm not spiteful mm -hmm. I don't want him I don't want to, I'm not trying to make things up to make things worse for him. No. You know, I want, but I, 
I want to get the story right. And mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's, it's a little bit mixed up. And I know that you can see that. Right. But I think the more that you talk to me, the clearer the picture is. Yeah. You I would hope so. You would agree with me there, yeah. right? Yeah. You would agree with me that it may not necessarily have been a push down the stairs. It may not be. And it may not be that he in obviously intended to hurt you if that happened intentionally. Right? Oh, he didn't pick me up and throw me down the stairs. Right. No, no. And the part about him making phone calls, talking to somebody, trying to dispose of your body. He might have been saying that, like, like I don't, I, I. Mm -hmm. uh, like, no. we, we have capabilities of going and looking at people's phones and mm -hmm. oh, I know. reviewing uh, messages and, right. and listening to something mm -hmm. like that. Yes. And this is a pretty specific statement that yeah. the officer said that wouldn't, you know, it just wouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. And now you're saying it didn't happen. Is that correct? I'm second guessing myself. Okay. Because this is the I know, I know, but I'm second. No. I'm not saying that. Like, this I don't is, know if it. This is your chance. You're, I'm this kinda, is your chance yeah. to make it right. Yeah, I know. Make it right with yourself and your daughter. Yeah. And make it right and not cause us to yeah. do oh, I don't an wanna, unwanted yeah, investigation exactly. that understand. doesn't need to be done. Yeah. Is there something else that I need to know? Well, about the dead body thing? Is there anything else yeah, that we have talked about that I should maybe... I don't know if, I, just, if I created. I don't know if I created that in my head or not. I heard the phone clicking. Mm -hmm. But you and I know I know. But he, you're mad, right? You're mad. And yeah, and I'm not totally concentrating on him too. I'm mm -hmm. trying to hear if I can hear the baby and like yeah. you know I I was I wasn't I wasn't just focusing on what was going on there. Mm -hmm. But no, I don't. I I don't think he phoned anyone to. Like, he might have muttered it out loud or something to say whatever, but I don't think, yeah, I don't think he was phoning anyone to get rid of a body. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Like, it's... Am I going to get in trouble for that? Because I, it wasn't, like, We're, it felt like it. I was scared, yeah. you no, know? I totally, you know what, I'm not... <laughs> like, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I know, it's, uh, <laughs> I appreciate your honesty right now. I would be really ticked <laughs> off if yeah. we left here today and I had you had to do an, a, yeah and further found, investigation and, and found, found out, out that, that there was, was nothing found again. A bunch no, of yeah, bullshit, yeah, okay, okay. Because we want to make sure that mm. we get the right story yeah. as truthful as it can be. Right. Okay. We don't yeah. want to make anything up, and we don't yeah. want to mm -hmm. uh, not put anything in there that right. didn't happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, is there anything else that? It should be changed that I should be aware of. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. I just think that is there something that? that you can think of that's an indiscrepancy? I'm. I don't know. I'm gonna go I next door okay. and I'm gonna let you think about that while I do that. Okay. And I'll be right back. Okay. okay? Yeah. Anything that you think of? I don't think so, no. Okay. I got a couple. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, when you talk about the, the, the ripping of your sweater, and you mm -hmm. said he was kind of rough with you on the neck mm -hmm. and that, and you didn't like that, yeah. and, and you said he was choking for your at pulse. me, yeah. What do you mean choking at you? Well, he was pulling, like pulling, pulling at it, and okay. it was choking me. Okay. Yeah. So the sweater was tight it around was, your yeah, neck. Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't like he was like like No, that, no, right? he didn't have his hands on okay. me, like physically choking me, but my sweater was mm -hmm. all twisted and ripped and you know, like yeah. pulling. Yeah. Okay. I was choking. He wasn't You were choking the because sweater the sweater was choking me. Exactly. Okay. And it had to is go over what, your head. Is that what you want to know? Yeah. That's, that's what, what I, I mean. want to know. Yeah. I want to know if he purposely was trying to cut off no, your no, breathing. No, no, no. He the sweater was choking. Okay. Me. Okay. Um another thing too is 
when we're talking about... I don't want to talk about that bottle I anymore. have to revisit it, I'm oh. sorry. Um, another thing... Okay. Okay. When your pants come down just below your butt cheek or whatever. Yeah, they were down, okay. yeah. Are your underwear down? Uh, yeah. yeah. Your underwear get pulled down mm -hmm. too? Do you have boxer shorts? No, underwear? not boxers. I have like, they're, they were ones that I bought that would fit me when I was pregnant. Okay. So maternity yeah, underwear? Yeah. So, well, not okay. really. Just big giant Hanes underwear. Her way. Yes. Granny underwear. <laughs> Granny undies. Okay. Yeah. Everybody has a pair of granny yeah. undies. Okay. So, um, you get your pants pulled down. Mm -hmm. When he was dragging. Does he rip your pants off or do they just come he down from pulling. the, from the pulling? They came down from the pulling. But not because he ripped them off. I don't think so, no. Okay. Like, I can't, I, like you know, he, you like, when know, he was pulling me, yeah. like, I could feel my pants slipping and slipping, but yeah. he wasn't, like, he, he wasn't, wasn't pulling at my pants exactly. deliberate. Like, he didn't pull my pants yeah, down. Exactly. No, no, they came down when he yeah. dragged me. Because, you know, when you're roughing around, you're, you know, maybe you have your daughter on the oh, yeah. change and table they and start trying to, to yeah, get your pants wrestling off. an alligator. There's, yeah. there's a difference between trying to get the pants yes. off. Exactly, and, and, and then rip it, and dragging and then sliding them down. down. Yeah. Okay, so they didn't physically get. He didn't down. pull them down deliberately. Right. No. Okay. No. And. Okay, so. I don't think he did. I can. I don't think he did. No, I know. It's just my pants were on a ball on the floor. I don't know if it were. I can't see. That's what I don't under. Like I don't remember him ripping them down. Okay. But, but when I but. When I stood up, I was completely naked. Okay. Like my sweater, he pulled off. Like that, that's that. Yeah. You understand that part? Yeah, and the bra. Mm -hmm. It came off with it because yeah. it's also a maternity kind of bra. Like yeah. everything's big for me right yeah. now. I'm trying to get back to normal yeah. size, but I'm not buying new clothes exactly. yet. Exactly. You know? So anyway, um, but when I stood up, the pant, my pants were like, I didn't pull my pants. Like I wouldn't stand up after him doing that and pull mm -hmm. my pants off. Mm -hmm. I would pull them up if they were down that far. Right? Wouldn't that just make sense? Or what? I wouldn't take my pants off and, and go and run in the in the living room, like that doesn't make any sense to me. He had to have pulled them down. He had to have before he did that. He had to have. But you. They were in a bowl. They were in a. They were like in a. You know when you pull your pants all the way down and yep. you step out of them and yep. they're like a figure eight on yep. the ground. My underwear and my pants were right there. But if that was the case, if you then he must have pulled. Them. But, <sighs> but listen to me though. If he was pulling your pants off like that, they wouldn't come off. In that kind yeah, of shape, yeah, they would, I know it, they would be. Uh, there would be half a leg, and, and yeah, yeah it wouldn't, it be, wouldn't like be all neat like I for took somebody them off to myself. actually do that. You'd have to like pull well, yeah, it, it, that's something you do out. when you get exactly. undressed for the shower. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. That 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 doesn't make any sense to me. And that's how your pants were found. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. They were right, like right. Maybe if we we're gonna I don't know. take a few steps ahead here okay. and see if maybe we'll come to back back to that and that might clarify a few things. When you're it doesn't make any sense. When you're lying and you're kind of you said like maybe in sort of some kind of a fetal semi fetal semi fetal yeah okay. Where do you you have this foot powder at your house like it's yeah yeah it's he has stinky feet he plays soccer. Oh okay so. So, did you know where it came from? Like, was no. it, is it it's in the usually room sometimes or? It's usually on the, like, on the dresser when you first work, walk in the door. Yep. It's right there because I like to put the powder in his shoes after he takes them off so it doesn't stink up the whole hallway. Oh, okay. okay. They're bad. He got, like, yeah, cheap like shoes at, uh, at Winners oh, that okay. were nice and cheap for indoor soccer. Right. The indoor soccer shoes are, like, 150 bucks. Why would he get that when we can just get them a pair at Winners? Yeah. But they're not natural fiber, not, not leather, so they oh, don't breathe. Okay. okay. They hold in all the yeah, stink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it was either on the back... It was either on the dresser by the door, or mm -hmm. it could have. It wasn't on the kitchen table, or in the shelf, right um, outside the mm -hmm. the bathroom. But it, it I know. It, 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 sorry, I'm pretty sure it would be at the, it was at the back door, like on that on that dresser. Okay. My house is really cluttered. There's lots of us in there. Yeah. When you are lying there and your eyes are closed. Mm -hmm. And you open your eyes, and you said you see the the wall, the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How I didn't, do you, I how do you know that, that the object was being rammed? And well, it I just I felt it hit me. Could it be maybe thrown? No, not in be not in have buckled. That doesn't make any sense. 
he he crammed it. I don't know. I like. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. Either. Like, was he standing? Sitting, he was behind. Kneeling. He must have been. Like, he must have been down to my level. Like, I don't, I don't know. know. It's just kind of a, a weird thing. For yeah, me. it's like, very was weird. Was he just like shoving yeah, it at shoved shoving it. it at your butt? Yeah. He shoved it between my legs. Shoved it between my yeah, legs. Yeah, but if you're lying in a fetal like position. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get. Oh my but God. your legs are but. together. Yeah, well, right? one like kind of in front of the other. Yeah. You know? So you yeah. would have to like go down and up. Like mm-hmm. it would have to be. Well, like that's a... why it buckled. I don't know. Like he just he rammed it. There was no explanation for it. There was like, he, and it was and he, as soon as he did it, he I did I reacted and it was on the floor. So I knew what it was. Like I just. I felt something. I didn't know it was the foot powder. How would I pick that out of the trees yeah. with my eyes closed? You know, but and, what do you but mean? Then it I like saw it. dropped to the floor, fell to the floor. It was on the floor. It was on the floor. Yeah, like on the floor, when right behind me, and on the floor, like in the kitchen. Was it behind me? And it was it, buckled. It was buckled. Yeah. Like somebody had crushed like yeah. a pop bottle or whatever, yeah. you know. But it's soft rubber. Yeah, because it has yep. to squish. Yep. Yeah. I'm not trying. No, I'm I know. Just, I'm, I'm letting you know. I've got some myself. I'm yeah. just trying to visualize. Like it kind of caved in on one side, yep. you know? Yeah. Okay. So you left it there as oh, it yeah. was when the police got there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're sure that it wouldn't have been an object just thrown at you? No, no. It was close range. Like it wasn't, he didn't just whip it at me. Like because okay. when I was down. No. No. Okay. No, it was shoved. Was there anything communicated to you at that time? No. Nothing. But this is when rage enters into your head. Oh, I was like, furious. That's it. Yeah. I'm yeah. done. Right? Well, first those comments and whatever, and it's like, okay, he, so he got the a taste gone. of his medicine. Game's yeah, gone. the game is, yeah. Did you hit him? No. No. You didn't hit him. No, I didn't. I would have hit him. No, I didn't actually. How could you not? How could you control yourself? Because he hits me back. Well, he hit you anyways. Yeah, but he would hit me even harder. Well, he hit you pretty hard on the couch. Yeah. Sitting when I was That's sitting down. That's another thing too. When he hit you on the couch. He did backhands like this and like this. With each hand. No, no, like this and like I don't know. He hit me one side With and I turned and then he then I turned around and he hit me again on the other side, like here and here. Open That's hand, right. closed no, hand? No, back of his hand. Back like, of his hand. Like he's got a hand like this big. So I'm sitting here on the couch. This is me. Mm-hmm. He's standing over top of me. Yeah, freaking out. Freaking. Yeah. What side of your face gets hit first? Uh, This side. So your left side gets hit first. Yeah, he hits me this way. So you get hit. And I was like, what the hell? You know, like, what are you doing? And then I, right. I like, I, 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 you know, it, it hurt. It's so he's hitting you like that, mm-hmm. and it would come like yeah. that. And then you get hit on this side. Yeah. Are you saying he switched hands to do that? No, no, it was the same hand. Went, How do you know it was the same went, hand? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Did you see, like, a ring on his hand He doesn't or wear rings or anything. Watch or? No. No, I just, I know the first, I saw it coming at me, the first one, but then I had my eyes closed and right. I felt another one. And he hit me twice. Okay. You're mad. Mm-hmm. You just had somebody try and ram a, a freaking, freaking powder yeah, bottle I know. up your ass. And you don't want to hit him back? No, I, I screamed at him. I screamed at him. You never hit him during that whole time. I don't know. Because you're mad. You're, you're no, mad I don't that think I did. you go down the stairs, you're at the bottom of the stairs, mm-hmm. you're like, I, you know what? Like, and you're watching to see, like, is he actually... I threw a glass take at a, him. You threw a glass at yeah. him? Like a splash glass? Yeah, wine glass. When? Um, when he did that. When he when did what? When he shoved the thing up my butt. Where was the wine glass? I swept it all up. There was glass this morning, too. Yeah, but where was the wine glass that at the you door. grabbed? At the door. Because he and Adam did were drinking homemade it? wine. No. Like, what did you do with it? I threw it at him, and I missed him, and it smashed in the... In the uh, in the kitchen, like it, near the garbage. Okay. And you got it in your gut? You're lucky for you. I know. Um, well, it's like he just ran so something up there, so I threw yeah, something so at him. Yeah, so you're mad. I was pissed. So you do, 
I like react. they retaliate. Of you course, do react. I'm not like I'm exactly. Not, yeah, you're not a little girl. Exactly. And you no, I can was, stand up for yourself. Exactly. Okay? I had enough. Right. That was it. You missed. Did mm-hmm. you try and find something else? No, no. Down? Then I ran into the living room. So then you because he came at me. He, he was mad. mad. Well, yeah, oh, he was I mad that mad. I threw a wine glass at him. Yeah. But he deserved it as far as yeah. I could. At that point, okay. it was the closest thing. I knew I'd have to clean it up. Yeah, you know? big like, deal. Whatever, but, it's a wine glass. But he comes at you. And then we, I ran into the living room because I didn't want to go towards room. where the baby was. Right. You, know? you go into the living room. What do you do in the living I room? I sat on the couch. Why do you sit on the couch? Because there's nowhere else to go. But why would you sit? Well, all her toys were all like mm-hmm. on the floor and yeah, stuff. Yeah. There was like, like okay. she had got, she's like a, a, a hurricane. Yeah. And she's got like xylophones mm-hmm. and all these things that you can't just run over. And where am I going to go? You didn't want to pick up an object? No. To protect yourself? No. No? No. So you sit down there. He's mad. He'd never he actually had... hit, like when he hit me the first time he ever hit me, yeah. he, it was like almost, it was a drunken, stupid, almost accidental thing. He did come at me, but he was in like a blind drunk thing. Yeah. And he pushed me and I hit a door frame. So there was that window of, to his, to his benefit that I could actually justify that he didn't particularly mean to do that to me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He did now. Like now, I, I can. Yeah. Like before, in hindsight. That's before this mm-hmm. is now. But now I, I didn't think that he would actually hit me at this point okay. after he already saw like you know mm-hmm. like, after all this crap, I didn't think he'd like continue and and actually raise a hand to me. I really didn't. And you're saying that no communication is going on. Oh yeah, I was calling him a fucking loser. Yeah. And an asshole. And what the hell are you doing shoving a friggin' powder thing up my ass? What the hell is going on? What did he say? I don't know. I was just screaming at him. Not screaming, okay? Screaming to me, it's like a stage whisper scream because I don't want to wake up the baby and the neighbors. I don't want to, you know. Yeah. So you're still conscious enough to understand that, you know. Oh no, at this point I was completely conscious yeah. I was I was rip snorting mad yeah you're mad mm-hmm. okay so when he hits you, you you can't tell me whether or not it's with one hand it, and it, not the other I know or, well I know the first it was the back of his hand okay. I saw it coming both times back of the um hand? second time I didn't see coming because I was still like I I, yeah. I was shocked I, I I reacted and he was yeah. quick yeah but that was it I don't think he hit me again after that I think it was just the two hits to the face. So did he say something like "bitch" or how like, that, like why? Yeah, he was saying something. I don't know what. I, I like I don't. I was thinking about the baby and the neighbors and mm-hmm. everything that had gone up till then. I wasn't taking mental notes. Mm-hmm. Okay, and to revert back to the pan. But yeah. I'm a little confused about okay. that. Yeah. So I don't know how that plays out, but somehow. I, I think he, he must have pulled my pants down. Yeah, but if they're the way that you say they are, that wouldn't be the way that they yeah, would look I, somebody no, off of you. This is the thing. I don't, it, it doesn't make sense to me. We need to figure that yeah, out. Yeah, I know. That's a very because that's part of the sexual assault. That's a very thing. important point mm-hmm. that we need to clarify. What the intent was exactly. If it was an accident or something deliberate, mm-hmm. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. I don't know. Say it's an accident, then. I don't know. Why well, don't want to? You know I what? Don't, I don't. I don't want to put words in your I mouth, don't. and I don't want to make something. I don't really want to pursue that anyway. Well, what do you mean? It's embarrassing. I don't, I don't know why he shoved it in my friggin' ass. I don't know why he did that. Uh-huh. It doesn't make any sense to me. He, he, I wouldn't be with like some kind of monster, you know? Like I Absolutely loved him. Not. He was a good, he's a good, when he's on the straight and narrow, he's the best thing. Mm-hmm. He loves me, he respects me, he friggin' adores me and his daughter and his son. But he's... But he gets in these like rampages where he thinks the whole world is against him, and mm-hmm. he's he's never taken any kind of like he's 
He's never been accountable for his own actions. Mm -hmm. Everything is always everyone else's fault, Mm -hmm. you know? We don't watch people like Mm -hmm. that. It's very frustrating. Mm -hmm. They're always right. Always right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. So do you think this is a situation where the sexual assault was an accident? I, I'm trying. I think he was just trying. Like maybe it would have been like, I don't know how he would do it. Because obviously he's um, looking to switch things up a bit. If you're saying that this never goes on, but then he talks about it. Yeah, yeah. And, you know. No, uh, I know. It, well, it, you know what? It, I just kind of like like brushed it off as stupid but male you didn't realize how stuff. serious no it was. no when he yeah, said to Adam give her a hand job I was like oh what the like yeah. you know where's this coming where from? the hell is this coming from like, it's but one thing to say oh Amanda's coming over but or you whatever, can see the you know? pattern there yeah and he's you know he said stuff when I had my girlfriends over and yeah. stuff you know and, yeah. and I'm like you know don't don't embarrass me in front of them by being a friggin pig like that yeah. you know he's like oh, we'll laugh about it or whatever but it's friggin embarrassing yeah. I don't have them come over you know <laughs> I wait till he's at soccer. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's been on some sort of a freaking So you think that crap thing. he was maybe just doing that just to see how you'd react? Maybe, yeah. And when he saw that you reacted yeah. in a bad, bad mm-hmm. way, he's like, I'm yeah. not going to change this girl's yeah, mind. Yeah, maybe. She yeah. is, like, so dead against this. Oh, for, he should have known when, when he said, uh, give Adam a hand job. Like, I know, but you know how people's heads are when they're drinking? They don't oh. always think straight. And, I mean, us as females, mm-hmm. you know, it's we look at things in a different way sometimes well, yeah. than guys. Yeah, we don't, obviously. You know, we're not. Thank God. You know what? We don't always think. Well, you know that. Yeah, when yeah. You're, no, I don't. When you're having feelings and a guy doesn't understand what you're feeling. Oh yeah. No, I know that I have opposite. to vocalize exactly. them because he's not going to figure exactly. them out on his own. Yeah, yeah she needs I know. To spell it out. Exactly. A to B. You know. Yeah. Yes. Dot dot. Yeah. So maybe this was his way of trying to as as sick as it is, but I mean sick as it is. Yeah. His way of like, well, let's see if we can have some fun with it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously. Yeah, like, I I don't know. Like, I I don't know. I don't, I never saw that sick side of him before. Yeah. We don't insert things. Mm -hmm. Like, we have pretty boring sex right now, to tell you the truth. I'm not really happy with my baby body and, you know, missionary is what I look the best at. And yeah, yeah, it's boring. (laughs) <laughs> but, but you just had a kid. And yeah, and I had abdominal surgery. I've got a C-section yeah. scar, too. And it's like, I want to look my best, and that's the position that it does. Sorry, officer, whatever, that you have to hear. <laughs> but, no. But in, in, like, in, I don't, he's thinking, I want some excitement in my life. I'm tired of this freaking Yeah, the hand job didn't work. I, Let's try the, 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 the talcum powder. <laughs> like, yeah. It's a possibility. I mean, I'm not no, no, I'm no, not no. I, don't worry. Me. I'm not taking offense. I'm not. I no, I no. It's ridiculous, it's but it's, it could explain the the ludicrous action. Like it was. Yeah. I I it blew me away. Yeah. It stopped everything because dead that would there. be a sexual object that. No, I it wasn't. A, no, I don't know what would it, ever work. Well, God, no. <laughs> It's like, like how, but like, yeah, he saw a baby's head come out of there, but that freaking hurt and shrank and shrunk right back. Well, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And if it's your rectum, yeah, I no, but it was he just hit me like right there. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, like, I don't like think he was down he, below. He wasn't. Yeah, like he wasn't in between, like, like he aiming. hit me between the legs. He w- oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like he shoved it between yeah. my legs. Yeah. And where it went is where it went because exactly. it's not really gonna go anywhere. It's just gonna it's not push. Gonna fit. Well, God no. Yeah. No. But Maybe. There, there might be a possibility on the internet somewhere, but not in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. have those physical capabilities. Yeah. Yeah. You know? well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know if it was some sort of sick, desperate act to. I don't know. I don't know. Well, and sick, at the beginning, you mentioned, you know, he was acting strange and mm-hmm. he thought he was on something other than, you know, yeah. just alcohol. Yeah. Because you know the signs. Mm-hmm. Now, um, I think we've covered pretty much yeah. everything off. Okay. I don't know if you feel better, but I yeah, feel I better do. knowing I do. that we've. 
kind of mm -hmm. work through each step and well I'm glad that we did it like that because like yeah. last night everything seemed a lot more extreme mm -hmm. to me like mm -hmm. I I knew that by calling you guys that was it like mm -hmm. my life is never going to be the same but mm -hmm. it can probably be better you know what I mean like it has been a slippery slope yeah. down and, and yeah. I've lowered my standards in the last little mm -hmm. while because yeah. I did want to give him a chance yeah. to work things out but um if you get violent towards me, it can't happen. Yeah. And there's not just you to worry about anything. Well, exactly. That too. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Okay. Just give me one sec, okay? Okay. Yeah, I don't forget about Michaela at all. Don't worry about that. I'm not going to leave and come back anymore because oh, I think okay. I've covered everything off. Okay. So, did you have something to say? Uh, no. Oh, okay. No, no. Well, um, I just have something to read on the form here. Okay. Uh, you know that what you've told us has been under oath. Is there anything mm -hmm. that you want to change? Um, I'm thinking the wine glass yeah. that I threw at him. It might have been, might have been before we went up the stairs. Oh, okay. 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 Because like, wasn't until like. I threw a wine. No, no, no. I, I'm just. <laughs> uh, sorry. No, sorry. that's okay. I'm just. Like I cleaned the wine glass up, after I called the police. Like I didn't clean it up right away. Yeah, it was. I don't know. I did throw a wine glass at him. Okay. Okay. I just have to write that down. Okay. I threw a wine glass at him, but I don't know, like, exactly. The sequence? Yeah. Okay. Is that a big... No. Thing? No, okay. Is there anything else that uh, we should know to understand your statement fully? Um, no. I think we pretty I much think covered we're good. it off, eh? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to conclude the interview. It's about uh, almost 10 to 2. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we've okay. been here for a while. Mm -hmm. Told you we're going to get up close and personal. Yeah. We can, this is the end of the interview. Okay. And